be a salmon sashimi rose. As I said in previous videos, I like to make flowers. So I've got my half pound of sushi grade salmon, uh, filet style. And I'm going to be making cuts at a slight angle because generally when you're trying to do nigiri pieces or uh, some sashimi pieces, you're wanting to have the piece be two fingers wide and about four fingers long. So in order to get that, I have to cut this at a slight angle for the length. So here. I'm cutting thin slices for this, not uh, the thick kind of square pieces that you sometimes see for sashimi. And you're going to want to do at least eight to ten slices for this. Way you would cut a yellow tail. When you get to the center area, you want to switch sides. Trim that a little. If you uh, cut a piece you're not thrilled with, it's fine. Set it aside. You can always use it in a roll. salmon aside. Now I'm going to want to cut a lemon. I'm not going to use my sushi knife for this. Use a regular kitchen knife, chef knife. And I'm just going to do some really thin slices of lemon to stagger with my fish. each other. About a third to halfway. Keeping my nicer lines along the top. Right. And then I'm going to just put my very thin lemon slices in along the way. going to just want to roll our salmon and our lemon slowly making sure to lift up each piece as you go. Salmon isn't as sticky as tuna so all right, so we've got kind of a rose shape here. Now let's get our plate ready. There's a couple of different things you can do here. You can take my shiso leaves. Just kind of lay those out. Set my salmon flower in the center. If you need a little stability with that too, another thing you can do is make kind of a leaf shape with your wasabi. 
doesn't have to be super accurate, but if you put a little veining in it, it'll look like a leaf. So that sort of thing. You could have that kind of propping up some pieces as well. Another thing you can add to this, which if you have, which I don't right now, is um, uh, what they call um, tabiq, or not tabiq, so, sorry, ukura, which is salmon roe, which would make a nice addition to this as well. Getting all my rows mixed up. All right, so get a couple of wasabi leaves, a couple of shiso leaves here. And if you don't have that, you can also sprinkle some tobiko or uh, misago as well. Or add some sprouts. Make sure that um, if people are not super familiar with sushi, you remind them that those leaves are wasabi, not avocado. I've seen plenty of people on the sushi line pop those real quick. All right, so this is our salmon and lemon sashimi, or <laughs> salmon and lemon sashimi. For more recipes and videos, subscribe to my YouTube channel or visit my website at sadiesquire.com.